And the reason why we need an impeachment inquiry is we need a deep dive investigation into the crimes of Joe Biden. But that's just the beginning. You see, it's a lot more than Joe Biden we need to investigate. We need to investigate and uncover every single unelected bureaucrat that receives a taxpayer-funded paycheck that has covered up Joe Biden's crimes. I want a list of those names, Eric, because when we get President Trump back in the White House, I want to make sure that we gut these agencies of these traitors within our federal government. And when we control the Department of Justice, I want to see them prosecuted if it's necessary. Yeah, I want to get to the bottom of the $2 billion Hunter received from the Saudis after he left office. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, I meant that was um, Jared and Ivanka. <laughs> it's funny, it's the only reason they're proceeding with these impeachment is because, shocker, uh, you know, they're finally getting called out on their own nonsense. Like Trump's getting indicted like multiple times. And they're just, you know, riding this trend. What were they chanting at the rallies? I think we all remember they had some pretty good chants. No, just the, the, the usual, uh, you know, USA, uh, make America great again. Lock her up. Lock her up. The obvious things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what do you think in general about jailing political opponents? Totally against it. It's against the Constitution. It's, it's, it's not America. It's not the U.S. I mean, I mean, think about it. Okay, so, so I feel like we're talking about two different things. I was talking about when Trump was trying to get Hillary in jail in, in uh -huh. 2016. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh-huh. Well, uh... <laughs> and it's great that they don't see the hypocrisy, and when you actually confront them on this, they just sort of double down and you know, dig in their heels. Uh, take this clip from Luke Beasley. I, this guy's up and coming. I like him. Tell me three democratic policies that you support. Inflation Reduction Act, American Rescue Plan, the Infrastructure Law, the PACT Act, the Chips and Science Act. I think it's good that Biden pulled out of Afghanistan. I can go on. No, 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 I get it. Wow. Okay, would you like to talk about the pullout of Afghanistan? Why did you feel bothered that I just listed policies I think are good? Because... I think it's great that he lowers prescription drug costs. You don't know enough about those policies. So one of them in the Inflation Reduction Act is capping the cost of insulin for Medicare recipients at $35 out of pocket per month. And I think that's really good. I don't think seniors should be having themselves price gouged. And now Medicare will negotiate drug prices. I think that's really good because of Joe Biden and Democrats. I think Joe Biden is an illegitimate president. I think the election was stolen. And I think he's going to be killed for his treason. How about that? I've watched that video a bunch of times. <laughs> and I love how he mentions you know, very legitimate legislation, like good stuff, right? I mean, it's just like making sure that we have our own microchip manufacturing and then it's not being made in China and it's being made here, you know, especially if it's going to go into, you know, military this, and, you know, sensitive that, right? I mean, especially with all, I mean, they seem to talk about China quite a bit. Right, the, the chip sack, this, uh, uh, and and it's funny because the guy, when he's presented with a bunch of legislation, immediately is like, "Well, let's talk about Afghanistan," <laughs> right? <laughs> and you're like, because he knows he can just pull. There was, you know, yes, it was great that we got out of Afghanistan, but I mean, it was a disaster getting out of there. So uh, yeah, I, I love it. And I, I love the guy's honesty. He's like, I don't even want to talk about the fact that this is, you know, these, this legislation at all. It's just, you know, voting, Dominion voting machines and QAnon.